Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's time for the Morning Mindset. I hope you are ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. I want to ask you to do me a favor. If you have received any benefit from the Morning Mindset since you've been listening, please pause this episode right now and send a message to someone about the Morning Mindset, someone you know could really benefit from the kind of encouragement you've been receiving. You can use the sharing functionality on your podcast player or app to do that. And please don't delay. If you do it right now while you're thinking about it, prayerfully consider who to send it to. You could make a difference in someone's life for eternity. I encourage you to do that right now. All right, today we're looking at Proverbs 17, verses 9 and 14. And these are verses that tell us what to do when we are in a relational situation that is tense. It could be a situation when we are offended or we feel someone has done wrong toward us. Or it could be a situation where we sense some kind of strife or conflict is starting to rise to the surface. What do we do in those situations as a follower of Jesus Christ? Let's read from the book of Proverbs 17, verse 9. It says, Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. Now Solomon is telling us here that all of us are going to face situations in life where either we are offended or we see that someone we love or someone we know has been offended. And our responsibility in those situations is, number one, not to spread it far and wide. Do you see that Solomon is saying here in the last part of this verse that when you repeat a matter or an offense is the the complimentary word from the previous phrase, when we repeat it, we keep talking about it, we uh, spread it around to others, we're going to separate close friends. It means we're going to separate the two parties that are kind of at odds even more. We're going to cause more problems. And that is not what a Christ follower is to be doing. We're to be peacemakers. We're to be ones who bring about harmony and unity and resolution in situations. So we want to be careful when there's an offense at stake that we are not exacerbating the problem by talking about it, by repeating it, or by spreading it around. We are instead to cover that offense. That means we're seeking love in the situation. About what does that mean by covering it? Well, it could mean that we just decide not to talk about it with people who aren't involved in the situation. It could mean we work to protect the reputations of those involved so that they are not maligned or slandered in the eyes of others. There's all kinds of applications. I think situation by situation, we would be led by the Holy Spirit to know what that is. Now let's look in verse 14. It says, the beginning of strife is like letting out water. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. So I think what he has in mind here is a cistern or a a water tank of sorts that once there's a hole in that and the water begins flowing or or a dam, once there's a hole in the dam and the water starts flowing, it's just going to erode more and more and more. And he's saying the beginning of strife is like letting out that water. It's the beginning. It's going to get worse. So he says, quit before the quarrel breaks out. So friends, I think we all can take an application here for ourselves and the situations that we face in life. When we feel a tension rising and we're feeling argumentative or wanting to defend ourselves, we're wanting to get our point across because the other person doesn't seem to be getting it. If you start feeling tension rising where it's becoming personal and people are at risk of being injured, it's better to just quit and leave the matter alone, at least for the meantime, so that that tension and that damage in a hurtful way doesn't get worse. You see, strife is not always a bad thing. Sometimes strife is the friction that enables us to be polished and sanded down more into the image of Jesus Christ. But we need to make sure we're not accelerating the strife and making it a damaging thing by just pursuing it when we feel the damage is is coming on. So in both of these verses, we're given some great wisdom about relationships and the tension that we feel in relationships. I would love to hear from you. Respond to me and tell me how these two verses have impacted you as you think about them in your own life. You can reach out to me, Carrie, C-A-R-E-Y, at carriegreen.com. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you 
for being so kind as to teach us what to do when we are offended or when we feel strife rising in a situation. Give us not only the wisdom to see the situation for what it is, according to these two verses, but also give us the self-control to be able to stop when needed, whether that's repeating the matter or it's exacerbating the problem and causing even more strife. Jesus, you will receive the glory as you give us the power to do these things. So we trust you to do it in your name.